Oklahoma, this came out at six and a half on most of the books. Yeah. Very quickly bet up to seven and a half, mm-hmm. but it settled there. This is a tough schedule. This yeah. is a brutal schedule. But I look at it and go, you know what? Oklahoma historically can go eight and four. Like oh, yeah. Oklahoma fans would be so disappointed in eight and four, mm-hmm. but that cash is your ticket. Yep. I, I I look at again their schedule in two halves, knowing the importance of starting fast. Uh God bless Temple. I think you're in for one uh week one. Uh lay the points, whatever that is. Uh but you get th- that Tennessee game, they are going to build that up. And they I, I would think they would beat Tennessee. But after that, what I still I still think it's underrated because not enough people have been there. It's one of my favorite home stadiums in in the country is, is Jordan Hare. And that's a team that is sneaky. Cause I think that ceiling for that team is is higher than most of the people that I've been reading. Uh, so what are you going to be out of that Tennessee game, knowing what the talent Tennessee has on the defensive line where they can maybe hang around with their defense and, and, and slow you down a little bit? What are you going to be out of that game when you got to go there in Texas, uh, you know, in Dallas, obviously? That, that, that makes me wonder. But I do think what he has sustained and the stability that he has created there, I do think that's a top, top notch defense. Um, I, I love Woody coming back. Uh, obviously, Stutzman uh, is is what you want when you think of those old Venable Clemson defenses, always having that great middle linebacker. Uh, so I, I, you know, I also put in the, the the similarity of these two teams because I always call it fake momentum. Your head coach comes back, your quarterback's back, and you win your bowl game. But that's like really the first time we saw those two guys. And mm-hmm. I can't put stock in the bowl games that, one, that I once did. So yeah. I love what I saw from the guys. Everybody I talked to had Arnold as the number one quarterback in that class. Um, and then you look at what Moss did in, in his game against the game. Like no one thought SC was going to compete with Louisville, and they blew him out. So the expectation, I think, in Oklahoma – I talk to their fans a lot. They get a Me little too. crazy with their expectations, but yep. I get it. They they dominated the big the Big Twelve for for as long as it was around. I totally get it, and you should have expectations when you're in that. But now I think with the way it's tempered a little bit, and knowing that these quarterbacks are better set up uh, for success at younger ages than they were, say when you and I were playing. Um, I, it, it, Oklahoma, t- when I compare them to SC, I like them better. I still would take a shot with the over here. I, I think they could rely on that defense uh, going on these roads and these places that we just talked about. Um, and they're going to have a serious, serious edge on their shoulders that we know Venable brings to the table and those fan base and the former players we all know. So it's a, it's a super fun team uh, for me this year to watch, knowing how it stacks up with that Tennessee game. I mean, that place is going to be nuts. I still, oh, it's going to be awesome. I think they – I I'd love to get your take. Their pre-kickoff routine <laughs> montage is up it's there. It's up there. I, I, I put it, I think, number well, one. I mean, think, think about the two weeks in a row you're going to get. Yeah. Of Tennessee coming to Oklahoma, you see the Sooner Schooner, all of that. It's going to be, and, and and of course, Josh Heupel coming back to Norman, like so much there. Then the following week, they go their first SEC road game, Auburn, and I'm with you on Jordan Hare. Like I am convinced there are days at Jordan Hare where the 85 Bears could not win. And you've got the flight of the Eagle. Yep. You've got, I mean, it, it is going to be like a jet engine going off mm-hmm. in Jordan Hare. So, and, and the other thing about that Auburn game, and I keep bringing this up, and the Oklahoma fans hate when I say it because they can't, they seem to think the Auburn game's a gimme, and I, I'm telling you it's not a gimme. Mm-hmm. But Auburn, after that game, plays at Georgia, at Missouri, at Kentucky. Like, wow. they need to win that game. Yeah. They really need to win that game. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> – so. yeah, it's, I'm it, with you. I, I'd, go, I'd go over with Oklahoma. I, yeah, I, I, I would too. I, I trust them. It ain't going to be easy, though. No. Because I, I almost think the ceiling is eight and four. Uh, I, I think they can be better than that nine. if they're really good. Okay. But because yeah, I, I, I do, th- I think they can be a playoff team if the offensive line comes together. But my my thing is, if you can beat some of these teams, you can beat a lot of these teams. Yeah, like 
Texas and Ole Miss, like if you can beat Texas, you can beat Ole Miss. Yep. You can hang with Alabama. Like, but it's just again the cumulative effect of all of it is is mm-hmm. is very tough. Thank you so much for watching. Just a reminder, subscribe to this channel right here so you never miss an episode of Andy Staples on three. And oh, by the way, watch all the other great videos on the On3 Sports YouTube channel.